A health alert all new tonight at 6. It is summertime and that means you'll probably be spending more time outside with your family. Yeah, but tonight one mom has a warning for families everywhere after her five year old was temporarily paralyzed by a tick bite. Doctors say she contracted tick paralysis, a rare disease that may be caused by a toxin in tick saliva. Tick season is at its peak from April through September and the number of reported tick borne illnesses has more than doubled since 2004. But there are some things that you can do to stay safe while you're enjoying the outdoors. NBC Charlotte's Kendall Morris has the story. There are several different types of ticks here in North Carolina. Now they're only a few millimeters long, but they can cause serious trouble if they latch on. A mom in Mississippi shares a frightening experience on Facebook. She says her daughter couldn't walk and could barely talk after she found a tick buried in her hair. Doctors diagnosed it as tick paralysis, a condition that may be caused by a toxin the tick injects into the host. Within 24 hours, uh, you have rapid onset of paralysis. Can you stand up? Come on, try real hard. This video circulated last year, showing parents in Oregon desperately trying to get their daughter to stand. Shortly after, an American dog tick was found latched on the girl's head. It's one of the types of ticks found here in North Carolina. These things are real that affect people, people's lives and can be, um, can be very detrimental if not uh, addressed. Pets can also experience tick paralysis. I noticed his back legs were not working at all. It was like he was paralyzed. Veterinarians say the condition can be very dangerous if left untreated. It can paralyze the diaphragm and the, the respiratory muscles, so there is the risk of it killing the dog. Experts say the best thing to do is remove the tick immediately for a quick recovery. It's not from the initial bite itself, it's but the extended stay, so to speak. They recommend grabbing it with a pair of tweezers as close to the skin as possible and pulling straight out. The CDC says you should also avoid places like this, areas that are wooded and brushy with high grass and leaf litter. It also recommends wearing an insect repellent containing DEET. Reporting in West Charlotte, Kendall Morris, NBC Charlotte.